This is Professor Dan Schechtman from the Technion Israel Institute of Technology. He received the 2011 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for the discovery of quasicrystals. While observing a rapidly cooled metallic alloy of aluminum and manganese with an electron microscope, he discovered a crystal with impossible symmetry. So, what is a quasicrystal? A crystal is a solid material that is made from atoms or molecules that are arranged in a highly ordered microscopic structure. The structure is periodic. A quasicrystal is an ordered crystalline structure that is aperiodic. This means that quasicrystalline patterns will fill all available space, but in such a way that the pattern of its atomic arrangement never repeats. First of all, it's wonderful to be a scientist. It's really wonderful. It, it gives you opportunities to do great things and to teach other people, young people. It's really rewarding. My grandfather bought me a present. It was a magnifying glass. Good quality, large. And I started to use the magnifying glass to look at the small things. The details of flowers, details of insects. And I fell in love with the world of small things. When I was 10 years old, the teacher told us that we have a microscope. I said, oh, can you bring it to class? I looked at the microscope. I couldn't leave the microscope. 1967, I did my master's degree at the Technion, and at that time, the Technion bought the first transmission electron microscope. I knew how to take it apart, I knew how to clean it, I knew how to operate it, and I became a professional electron microscopist. This expertise and observing eye to something that shouldn't be brought me the Nobel Prize in Chemistry 2011. The discovery was met with a lot of resistance from the very onset. The objection was at the time gentle and at the time not so gentle. My group leader came to my office one day, smiling sheepishly, putting a book on my desk saying, Dr. Schertmann, please read this book and so you will know that what you are saying cannot be. You are a disgrace to my group. I cannot have my name associated with yours. Please leave my group. And when we published these papers, hell broke loose. And I started to get telephone calls from all over the world. Danny, we have it, we have it, it's fantastic. And these people took my discovery and made it into a science. But the resistance did not end. In fact, it grew. Chief opponent was Professor Linus Pauling, arguably the greatest chemist of the 20th century, a great crystallographer. He was a sun in the sky and nobody knew my name. He was standing on stage and saying, Danny Schechtner is talking nonsense. They're not quasi-crystal, just quasi-scientists. But over time, I started to like it. I started to like it because people said, Kachman and Pauling are fighting up there. What's going on? Schechtner and Pauling, hey, nice, right? But he was wrong, and other people were wrong. And slowly but surely, the opposition died. My recommendation to the young people who wish to become scientists, have an observing eye. Look for something which is out of the order. Look for something which is not ordinary. Look for something that seems impossible. Look for something that cannot be. But to know that it cannot be, you have to have broad knowledge. You have to be an expert in something and develop one peak of expertise. This is it. This will give you a chance to be a very good scientist.